The number of these haimonis has been dwindling, and rapidly in recent years, says this man snapping photos of the survivors. Photojournalist An Se-hung tells me he has been taking photographs of these Korean women since the 1990s. Carefully untying the knot to his portfolio, he unveils a whole new world to a whole new group of haimonis that might have gone forgotten. There are Korean comfort women taken to the front lines of the Japanese battleground who never got to make their way home. It's part of his Juju project, a photo exhibit of Korean women who were left behind in China after having served as sexual slaves for the Japanese military. Juju, which means layer by layer in Japanese, represent their wrinkles carved deep in their faces the pain and anger that's piled up in their hearts. But soon, An says, there may not be any more grandmothers left for him to find and take photographs of. Each year is different, he says. They grow weak by day. The 40-year-old photographer continues to stay committed to this project because he believes if we stop documenting these women's lives, if people stop remembering those victims, their story will vanish behind the dark side of history. Trapped in time, living in the past, haunted by memories. Ha Ama or Grandma Ha greet us with a warm smile. In a small, worn out Chinese building in Wuhan, China, we found 86 year old Ha Sang Suk, often called Ha Ama in Chinese. She's only one of the hundreds of thousands of Korean women who were forcibly taken to China and never returned home. What happened some 70 years ago is something she dreads to recall. Ha Sang Suk Ama was kidnapped and brought to Wuhan by the Japanese army when she was only 16 years old. She still remembers that day. Uh. 
그때 근데 처진 게 모르지 그런 말이 무슨 말 지금 아니에요. 다 죽었어. 그 사람들 살았으면 얼마나 좋은 다 죽었어. 我们的回忆是那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗忘的历史，那些被遗
平时的喝醉是意外死的，喝醉是没死的，肯肯定那个底下有个死过。Xu Mingting is a historian who spent most of his life studying the modern history of Wuhan. He believes confiscations in Wuhan had been planned for a long time as Wuhan was captured by the Japanese in late October and the brothels opened in early November. Walking down the alley that once used to house hundreds of girls there to serve the Japanese soldiers, the 96-year-old historian says the brutality was far worse than we could ever imagine. 经受了这个新摧残以后，得了病死的。嗯，说那个猪说说，不跟他们家这猪吃那么点，很早的嘛的，啊，他说没有什么，哎呦，得了嘛，可是那个还是喊了多少年了，没没啥人参，可啥人没做啥呢？我妈老问了，他说，他总是那个啥。As the largest city by population in China, Shanghai is a global city with influence in commerce, culture, media, fashion, and technology. The great metropolis is also one of the fastest growing cities the world has ever seen. But behind the nouveau riche exuberance in Ilan is a history of shame. Standing tall in downtown Shanghai is a European-style building with a hint of Japanese flavor. It's the very first Japanese military comfort station in the world, a local resident explains. More than 80 years later, traces of Imperial Japan are found on the artifact, once called the Daiichi Salon. Wang Jiecheng moved into one of the units in this building 40 years ago and tells us there still remain traces of a Japanese comfort station. Eighty years ago, in this very building, on these ceramic tiles were probably high-ranking Japanese officers dancing, drinking with helpless teenage girls. 67-year-old Wu Yuzhen has been living here all his life with his 96-year-old father. He says this piece representing Mount Fuji was here when his father moved in decades ago. <laughs> Professor Su Ji Liang is considered the first expert in China to probe into the buried history of comfort women. Su started his research accidentally in early 1992 while he was a visiting scholar to Japan. Wei Anfu Zidu is a Japan government and military 
为军队提供军队军事性奴隶的这样一个制度，它是国家权力的介入，而不是士兵个人的行为。所以从这个意义上来说，这两幢房子呢。Contrary to common estimates, Su believes there were at least 400,000 women who were forced to serve as sex slaves for the Japanese army. Uh,这个。呃，慰安妇制度的起因呢，是日军，并且也导致了性病的流行。所以日本为了防止性病的蔓延，丧失他日军的战斗力，同时呢，也能够刺激他日军的战斗力。With proofs and materials recovered through years of investigation, Professor Su opened the first Comfort Women Research Center in China in Shanghai Normal University. From shoes worn by the victims during that time to testimonies of the survivors all across Asia and Europe, the research center stands as proof to Japan's wartime sexual slavery. Uh, these are more than brutal. I, I am so shocked to see these pictures. What are these pictures? Yes, okay. These pictures is about uh, in the wartime, the Japanese army, they uh, raped, raped the, the Chinese women. Uh, and uh, sometimes before they raped the women, or sometimes just after, they will take a photo to the young lady or even old lady. Why? Sometimes it was for fun, or just to tell the Chinese people, you know, uh, I or we raped the Chinese woman. That means we conquered your area, your home, hometown. Just sometimes, just to give some documentary to I have conquered, we have conquered your place. Why is it so? From history, Japan government and 实施了这样一个性奴隶的制度，但是从另外一面看，在亚洲还有很多的幸存者。日本政府对这些幸存者和国家一直没有彻底的道歉。Standing before the illuminating glows and the modern-day skyscrapers, it's almost impossible to imagine that this is where one of the largest cases of human trafficking ever took place. Behind the state-of-the-art buildings, the remnants of the painful past are untraceable. It's history being forgotten, memories fading away. What can we do to hold off time from hailing history? <laughs>